The top weight is Bill Monking, 14 to 1, under Tony McCoy. Buckboard Bounce, 14 to 1, Captain Adam Ogden rides. Blinker for the first time today, Buckhouse Boy, 14 to 1, Chris Moore. Cab on target, 8 to 1, Peter Niven. Visor for the first time is Killershin, that's 12 to 1, and Sean Curran. Sister Stephanie, 6 to 1 favourite now, Richard Dunwoody's mount. Five Lee Bills for Scotland, 14 to 1, Andrew Thornton. Storm Tracker, 7 to 1, Mark Richards. The Blinkered Kamikaze is 7 to 1, that's uh, ridden by Conor O'Dwyer. Baronet, 10 to 1, Richard Johnson. The Blinkered Act the Wag, 7 to 1, Paul Carberry wearing a black cap. Court Melody is Blinkered, 16 to 1, Robert Thornton on board. Dakin's Boy, 20 to 1, Carl Llewellyn. Sam Lee, 8 to 1, Norman Williamson. Spuffington, 33 to 1, Philip Hyde. And then the outsiders are Parsons, Brigade, 100 to 1, and A.D. Smith off the boo doesn't run. But Highlandman does, and that's a 100 to 1 chance, and Chris Wilson runs. She's on the favourite, and she's a well back favourite now. 5 to 1, Sister Stephanie from 6 to 1. It's 7 to 1, Storm Tracker. And then a host of horses at 8 to 1. Act the Wag, Kamikaze, Sam Lee, and Money for Cab on target into 8 to 1 from 9s. Baronet is 11 to 1. Collision at 12s on 14s, then Buckboard Bounce, Belmont King, Buckhouse Boy and Fively builds. Court Melody at 16 to 1, Dakin's Boy at 20, Spuffington at 33 to 1, and you can have 100 to 1 about the other two, Highland Man and Parsons Brick. They race away and has Sister Stephanie, yes, she's gone. Now then, uh, she's, oh, but she doesn't really want to know, does she? She's uh, chasing her tail around, but of course run for free proves that you can give them start and win the national, but what a race with Tseva this is, and uh, as they come down towards the first, it's uh, Belmont King that's one of the first to lead at the first Belmont King and Storm Tracker. They're all safely over, and now she's uh, she's okay, Sister Stephanie. Second from the back, and uh, ooh, no more than a dozen lengths off the off the leader. And she's going all right now. She got into a head to race, and Richard Dunwoody was uh, certainly not uh, letting her getting away with that. Kamikaze makes a mistake in the second. Anyway, after all the antics at the start, we've got uh, Belmont King leading to Storm Tracker. The yellow cap, the inside, uh, that's uh, five V builds in the yellow colours. Here's Dakin's boy, and they're virtually in the air together at that ditch. At the back of the pack, we have uh, Buckboard Bounce, and they head down towards the next one. And coming into it, it was Belmont King who leapt it in the lead. Belmont King has the edge here to Storm Tracker in second. And then 5 he builds the inside in third. These are followed then by, up on the outer, we have Baronet in a good position, so, and also a higher man in a good position too, Buckball bounce on the outside. And the favourite, well, she's uh, given them all starts, to, but uh, she's at the back of the main group. And they continue the run down the back straight and start the turn for home, with 5 he builds leading. 5 builds on the inside of Belmont King 1 and 2. Then Storm Tracker. Storm Tracker is in third with up on the inside making a bit of ground uh, Highland Man. And they continue to run down the home straight. And uh, there's a faller early on in the race. And uh, looking for Sister Stephanie. Which is. Uh, doesn't seem to be with them. They cross the next, and it's a Belmont King lead. We've got an order now as they come up past us. It's Belmont King and 5 he builds one and two. Storm Tracker wide on the course is in third. Then Highland Man and Court Melody end up on the outside. We've got Buckhouse Boy. Through on the inside is Spuffington. And the fall up was indeed Sister Stephanie. Departed down the back straight, got rid of Richard Dunwoody. So they come up past us then, and it's a, a line of three with a circuit, uh, two circuits to go. Belmont King just has the edge to Storm Tracker and through on the inside was uh, five lead builds. Then we've got Storm Trooper, uh, Storm Tracker I should say, uh, behind these, and then Spuffington with Court Melody the outer, then Highland Man and then Sam Lee. And so they start the run towards the back straight. And in the pink jacket it's Belmont King that shares the work with five lead builds. And then into third place we've got Storm Tracker with Highland Man the inside, followed through by Court Melody. After these, we've got Spuffington and Sam Lee. Sister Stephanie, four to one favorite, is out of the race. Storm Tracker at seven to one, is sharing the lead. Continuing the run down the back straight, and it's Belmont King and Storm Tracker, five lead builds. And then Highway Man with, up on the inside, Spuffington. 
Then Sam Lee and Court Melody. Baronets it's midfield. Killishan's at the back of the pack, but then again, he normally is. Cab on target and Kamikaze are out the back as well. And they head down towards the middle fence on the far side. Fence number 12, it's an open ditch. And Sam Lee made a bad mistake there, from which his uh, rider, Norman Williamson, did particularly well to recover. Belmont King leading. Killish in the back marker, and we've lost another one out the back. Blackboard bounce, I think, is being pulled up. So it's Belmont King leading as they come uh, towards the end of the back straight. The bat at the halfway stage. Belmont King, Storm Tracker, five lead builds, one, two, and three. Then through into fourth place is uh, Highland Man, followed by Spuffington, the inside of Court Melody, and then Sam Lee. Then we've got the black cap of Actor Wag, followed by Baronet, and then we have uh, Dakin's Boy. And then Kamikaze, and then Cab on target and Killish in towards the rear. They turn into the home straight, and they're at the halfway stage now, two miles to go. Belmont King leading. On the outside, uh, Buckhouse Boy well down the field, on the wide outside, that is. Another plain fence confronts them, and it's 16 of the 27 they jump. And coming into it, it's uh, Belmont King and five lead builds, and they're one and two. Belmont King and five lead builds with wide on the course with the white sleeves. Storm Tracker over the next. Belmont King and Storm Tracker one and two. Five lead builds the inside of Sam Lee. Baronets are going well. That's getting the midfield position now, about four lengths off the pace. Buffington, Philip Hyde's given up the inside to no one. And as they come up past us, they're bunching up front, and it's still Belmont King that leads. But, of course, the main interest is out, because Sister Stephanie no longer with them. It's early on, and there's still 10 or 12, all in with every chance. They've got another circuit left to run. Philip Hardahol's giving Spuffington a really good um, ride. Been on the inside from the outset. Old Storm Tracker looks to be enjoying it, and as I said that, he's just beginning to come under pressure, and coming in on the outside, is Buckhouse Boy. And Buckhouse Boy, the white jacket, is uh, running very wide, but getting closer for the Twiston Davis team. A good uh, strike rate in this Scottish national. Still, Belmont King, though, just has the edge to five lead builds for Scotland, the inside. Sam Lee in third, and Corp Melody's racing four. And then we've got Storm Tracker in five, followed by Actor Wag, and then Spuffington, followed by Baronet and Buckhouse Boy, and then Kamikaze. After that one comes Duckin's boy. Another plain fence now, and it's Belmont King who leads. Five lead builds a little bit untidy there. Cab on target is well out of it. Killishin is jumping very slowly at the back of the pack and tailing off. Two more ditches to jump. The next one they come to is the second last of these. Fence number 21, at which, oh, sadly, another remarkable recovery from Norman Williamson there, and he's not given up, has he? He's still virtually in second place to Belmont King, but on the outside, Buckhouse Boy is getting closer. Court Melody, the grey kamikaze is trying to get him into a position. Act the wag, the black cap getting closer. Don't rule out Storm Tracker, still there with chances. So too, Court Melody, Baronet with uh, uh, running to do. But it's uh, Belmont King who uh, was taken out of the National when the race was uh, uh, transferred to the Monday. That has the edge, too. In second place, Sam Lee. In third is Court Melody. Look at the grey, Kamikaze cutting through the pack. These are followed by Buckhouse Boy and Act the Wag. They come to the top of the home run. Half a mile to go in the Stuckis Casino Scottish National. And it's Belmont King in the lead. Red sleeves, Sam Lee. Two bad mistakes, but he's still in there with chances. Green sleeves, Court Melody and the great Kamikaze went through that one. Act the Wag behind these. And then Baronet and then Five Lee builds. They come down towards a third last. And it's Belmont King and a Tony McCoy champion jockey. Belmont King by length to Sam Lee. Back in third place is Court Melody, then Act the Wag, and then Kamikaze. Two more to jump for the top weight. Belmont King, a length of the good over Sam Lee. Belmont King comes to it, takes it well to Sam Lee in second. Then Act the Wag staying on wide on the course. That's getting a little bit closer now. Then Court Melody, they come down towards the final fence. A tired horse, but a brave one, Belmont King. In second place, Sam Lee. This is the last. Oh, and in Belmont. Belmont King gets away with it. Sam Lee in second. Wide is Actor Wag finishing with every stride. Belmont King anchoring by top weight, but staying on bravely. He's going to take it at the line. Belmont King is the winner. 
Samli is second, rushing through the pack of photo for third, one for the judge, Baronet and the Wag. Then came Court Melody and Dakin's boy, followed by five B builds and Kamikaze and Buckhouse boy dropped away. Kilishin has uh, continued, and that's the last to finish because uh, Storm Tracker has been pulled up. Also, Spuffington was pulled up, Cab on Target was pulled up, and Highland Man was pulled up. 16 to 1 then. The winner of this Stackers Casino Scottish Grand National is the top weight. That's uh, Belmont King in the colours of Mrs. Billy Bond, who a uh, regular uh, watcher to races on television, but uh, her horse has made all the running to win this four mile marathon. And the champion jockey Tony McCoy trained at Shepton Mallet by Paul Nichols in the grand staying performance. He was a very, very leg weary horse from the last, but his courage saw him through. Second horse home is number 14, Sam Lee, Norman Williamson. Well, if you back that one, you owe Norman's uh, magnetic ability in the saddle to reward your each way support. And it's a very, very close call for third and fourth, and definitely one for the judge. Performance by Belmont King, who wins by one and a half lengths and two lengths at 16 to 1. It was a 16 to 1 chance when betting opened in midweek, 14 to 1 chance, and the officers this morning returned 16 to 1. The joint 12th favourite, for those of you who want to know, giving Tony McCoy his first Scottish national. The runner up, the well backed Sam Lee, who opened at 20 to 1 earlier in the week, 16 to 1 this morning, back down to 8 to 1 on the course, Sam Lee, the runner up. The third baronet, an 11 to 1 chance. Act the wag was fourth, that was sent off at 15 to 2. And the favourite was Sister Stephanie. The